What is going on, youtube Verse John Stanek from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another Viva La Vinyl classic album review, and it does not get much more classic than this, folks. The 2007 masterpiece, In Rainbows, by Radiohead, one of the greatest bands of all time. Look, I got OK Computer on my wall of perfect albums, and this, while not being perfect, is a near-perfect masterpiece. I'm going to give my grade up front, which I never do, but this is a 9.5 out of 10 easily. I mean, just there's not a throwaway track on here from the opener of 15 Step, which has so much energy to the closer of videotape that has that somber, thought-provoking, uh, just perfectness that is radio. I mean, Radiohead... They're one of those bands like Pink Floyd and the Beatles before them that really know how to make an album, to, to know how to start it off, to know how to finish it off, and everything in between. I mean, come on, some of the best tracks in their entire discography are on this record, like Reckoner. Man, what a song. It just stands out uh, as this anomaly almost that uh, was a song that they'd been kicking around for many years on tour as more of a rocker, but then it turned into this kind of soulful, almost like Radiohead meets Marvin Gaye kind of thing with Tom doing this beautiful falsetto throughout while he's playing the main uh, clean guitar riff, and then Johnny's doing like an electric organ, and everyone's playing percussive instruments. It's like, it's so cool. And especially if you see them perform this live in the basement. Uh, if you check it out on YouTube, they do every song on this record live, and it brings a different light to it, especially that one, uh, which is my, I'm going to go ahead and say my favorite track on this record. But um you know, there's something on this album, too, that, of course, there's the whole backstory about how they released this album, which was uh, just amazing and no one had done before. They released it online uh, on their own volition, saying you can pay what you want for this record, um, which ended up being, um, you know, ironically, one of their best selling albums because people did pay them what they thought the album was worth, which was kind of their experiment. Brilliant. But more than that, the things that developed on this album, uh, because Radiohead really has evolved through each album, uh, what's cool about this one is it, this is the album where Radiohead added sexiness into their sound. Prior to that, I mean, even OK Computer, you know, they had the moodiness and the drama and uh, the tension that, that was in all their music. But on here, on songs like Reckoner and songs like all I Need, which is a close second favorite on this album. It has kind of like this so, slow groove to it that Phil Selway is, is adding onto the drums. And it has kind of like this, it, it has a moodiness to it, a darkness that we're used to from Radiohead. But then there's just this, this soulfulness and him singing uh, you're all I need. You know, before that, the last album that I can remember, uh, Tom York even singing anything half romantically was on The Bends. Uh, so this was like uh, a, a warm uh, welcome, uh, just Tom York being a human being, uh, if you know what I mean. And that comes across as well in songs like House of Cards, which paints a very vivid picture when he says, throw your keys in the bowl, kiss your husband goodnight. He's telling this story about kind of 70s era key bowl parties and, and singing, uh, I don't want to be your friend, I just want to be your lover. And with very few words, Tom York can just paint a picture um, a very descriptive one at that, that very few songwriters can pull off. And it's uh, it's just something very amazing that, that he only he can do. It's that Tom York magic. And then, of course, the rest of the band just adding what they do so well. Songs like Weird Fishes is, uh, is one that they continuously play on tour because it's just so beautiful the way Ed and Johnny all play these arpeggiated parts, Tom included, and um, it just has such a build to, to this uh, All I Need as well. Uh, you know, the, it, the song builds into something and really tells a story and it feels emotional. 
Um, more so than albums like Kid A and Amnesiac, which are fantastic classics and the way that they deviated from the classic guitar rock the way they did in the early 2000s this kind of brings back the guitar sound from the 90s and mixes that with the electronics that they embraced in the early 2000s and uh and just kind of transcends it in a way um you know, all the songs that I mentioned on top of that, you have beautiful tracks like Nude that, that also have room to grow and breathe. Another highlight on here is Body Snatchers, which may really be, when you think about it, the last true rocker of Radiohead, uh, because after this album was just, uh, you know, The King of Limbs, which I personally love, and, um, you know, Moon Shape Pool. But those songs, or those albums, don't really have uh, true rockers the way Body Snatchers really, uh, it's it's got that classic Johnny Greenwood like kind of bending the notes in a crazed fashion and Tom York really kind of like a rabid dog at the end with those no 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 you can t you can just see him getting into it the way he does on like the national anthem when they performed on Saturday Night Live or Idiotech. Uh, just so fun to watch a crazed Tom York in action. So this album kind of like OK Computer behind me, it, it has a little bit of everything. Like, uh, I love when Tom takes on different personas, like the, the very manic, crazed, uh, the way he is on Body Snatchers, and then the laid back, very uh, somber, but yet beautiful and haunting the way he is on House of Cards or Nude. Um, Reckoner, this very transcendent, just, uh, it, it's a beautiful album from start to finish. I can't say enough about it. Um, the way it closes with videotape, which has a very profound message saying, when we get to the heavenly gates, will we, you know, I'm paraphrasing, but will we see our lives in front of us on videotape? And what will that be like? It's, it's just so thought-provoking in a way that only Radiohead can do. Again, a 9.5 out of 10, just a classic. You have to have this in your collection. And it's just a, a brilliant album from one of the best bands of all time. So that's what I think about it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And what are your two favorite tracks? Again, my favorites, Reckoner and All I Need. I revisit those all the time to this day. Um, it just has such repeat value, this album. Can't say it enough. And it's a classic. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always... Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that jazz. Check out some of my other content that you can see on the screen now. Thank you again for supporting Johnny Radio. Take care and I'll see you soon.